In the business spotlight on News Talk 94.7 and 970 WMAY, it is another Friday, and that means another local first business being featured, and this time it's Be Safe Home Inspection, and Tim Carney's with us. Tim, listen, thanks for coming by. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into the home inspection business. Well, I'm a retired firefighter from Springfield, but I started the home inspection business back while I was a current firefighter, something to keep me busy on my days off and help people out and do home inspections. Very cool. So tell us a little bit about your business. Basically, when I started, we did home inspections. We still do home inspections, but when I started, it was just going out and telling people the best I could about their home and what to expect out of their home, evaluate every aspect of the house from the roof to the foundation to even get inside the electric panel and look for safety issues or hazards on the electric or plumbing and just give them a lot better idea of what's in the house before it's their home and their problem. When it comes to home inspection, I know a lot of people will not purchase one piece of real estate without getting a home inspection, which is really smart. But what we're seeing these days, aren't we, is buyers being a little more proactive. Before they put that house on the on the market, they put out the home inspection and then have that ready for the potential seller. It really is a smart way to go, isn't it? That has really become unpopular. When I started, that was none of my business. And each year it gets more and more to now it's about 75% of my business And what that really helps, it helps eliminate the second set of negotiations. Normally, if you buy and don't or sell and don't have the home inspection, then they bring in a home inspector later if they've already beat you up and got you down crying because you're as low as you can. Then they'll want you to renegotiate for all the things the home inspector found. If you have the home inspector come in first, then you can sell the house as is per the home inspection. And that really eliminates the second set of negotiations. Yeah, that's really important, too, because that can really bog down a closing, especially, you know, if if that home inspection comes at at days or weeks before the closing. And we're home inspectors. We're going to find something. So everyone expects us to find something. It's just best to do the price accordingly per the home inspection and let them know up front before they make their offer. Be Safe Home Inspection is our local first business this week on News Talk 94.7 and 970 WMAY. Tim is here. So, Tim, how long have you been in business, first of all? 22 years. Wow. Yeah, and you were giving me a little bit of a perspective, at least from from a buyer standpoint, in that uh, it went from virtually no home inspections done by by sellers to 75%. You know, how else has the business climate changed for you? Oh, it's changed a lot. A lot of computers have come into it, where we do a lot of computer-generated reports. And a lot of it's changed now that it's becoming more of a popular thing. Everyone thinks they're a home inspector. There's new companies pop up every two or three months, and most of them go out within two or three years. So the best thing I recommend is get a home inspection company that's been around for a while and been tested by the courts, the realtors, and other people. Just don't throw your home, which is your most important purchase, to the luck of a new home inspector just because it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, you know, that that is a great point that you bring up. I imagine that a lot of times there are issues and situations where something that, that even even the best home inspector can't get 100% of the stuff every single time. There's something that's going to be missed. But somebody that doesn't have experience, that's almost like a lawsuit nightmare waiting to happen. Correct. The more I do this and the longer I do this, the more educated I become and the better I can inform you on what type of things there are. But everyone can always miss something. And that's when a real professional comes in, how you handle something when it's been missed also. Tim, I know you're a retired firefighter, and this kind of was a natural thing, but why did you start your business? Why didn't you just go work for somebody else? Well, back when I started it, there were no other. There was one other home inspection company, and I started in basically as his competition, and there was only two of us then, so it was real easy to get business. Well, I say easy, but no one hired home inspectors back then. But I did it because... The fire department let me help people. This way I could help people, give them a better informed knowledge on their house. And I think home inspectors are now what's reducing the home fires. Firefighters inspect commercial buildings sometimes for safety, but no one except for home inspectors look for the hazards, the fire safeties, even whether someone has a smoke detector in their house on a residential basis. I think we've really reduced the home fires in the state of Illinois. Local First this week, and it's our Friday Local First Day, and Be Safe is our uh, business of the week uh, right here at News Talk 94.7 and 970 WMY. Tim Kearney's with us from Be Safe Inspections. What do you love about doing your job, Tim? Well, I love, just like I just did an inspection this morning on an old church in Lincoln, it was just amazing just to see what this guy did. I mean, 
I just still love inspecting houses and seeing what really works and what people come up with great ideas. But sometimes it's just as funny to see the ideas that don't work and think, what the hell were they thinking? And just seeing what people do. Some work, some don't. And then the longer you do it, you get to figure that out. <laughs> what can be frustrating about your business? Oh, the frustrating part's always collecting money. People have the home inspection fall apart because you list some issues that why the house has issues. And then they don't buy the house and they don't want to pay you. So that's an issue. And the other big issue is you can have the same house where one, the seller thinks you're too picky. The buyer thinks you're not picky enough and you're stuck in the middle trying to explain to them, this is what we do. This is how we do it. This is by state law. We have to list this. We have to do this. And people just don't understand it. And they always think you should be pickier or less picky. Tim, what does the future look like for the home inspection business in your business? I don't see it changing a whole lot. What it may change to is now we're going to pre-inspections and I see things sold more as is per the pre-inspection just so that's just the way it's going to be. Hmm. Gotcha. Uh, well, Tim is with us here. Why is it important to belong to a group like Local First Springfield? Local First, I just really love the concept and really love their idea of Local First. Just like I'm not a franchise, I started Be Safe Home Inspections. I designed the local. It's all just local. All my money stays here and goes into the economy. Even my daughter goes to UIS here in town, and I spend all my college money here in town. I believe in local first. <laughs> yeah. Tim, with, with both you and I with kids in school, we know yes. we spend a lot of money. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm still working. <laughs> all right, terrific. Well, Tim, if anybody wants to hire Be Safe Home Inspections for their home inspection, how can they do it? They can call Be Safe Home Inspections at 217-321-1000, and that's what makes us different. We always have someone answering the phone. I pay a guy full-time to answer the phone and do scheduling. We have four full-time inspectors, and that helps us talk back and forth. But just call 321-1000. Cool. And is there a website, too, where people can take a look? Yes. Be safe at BeSafeIL.com. It's our Illinois First Business of the Week, or Spring Local First Business of the Week, I should say. And uh, that would be Be Safe Home Inspections. Tim Carney, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Coming up next on News Talk 94.7 and 970.